In a recent announcement, UNESCO issued an alert describing a concerning scenario of an impending danger. An alarming tsunami, a colossal surge set off by seismic events, looms on the horizon with European cities positioned as potential targets. These urban centers, home to millions of residents and numerous cultural artifacts, stand vulnerable to the imminent menace posed by the relentless force of the sea. However, the scope of the threat goes beyond Europe. The United Nations anticipates a surge in risk for an additional 40 cities spanning 21 countries by the upcoming year. This isn't confined to a specific region, it has evolved into a global concern. The serious prediction isn't based on speculation but on meticulous scientific research. Experts have delved into the realms of sea level fluctuations, seismic patterns, and historical records to forecast this looming catastrophe. As we explore this subject, it's crucial to emphasize that delving into these threats isn't meant to instill fear. Instead, it's about cultivating awareness, advocating for readiness, and ultimately protecting our communities. Navigating the realm of the sea involves confronting numerous uncertainties, and the magnitude of a tsunami is among these enigmas. Estimating the precise height of an approaching tsunami is a challenging endeavor marked by uncertainty. This complexity arises from a variety of factors, including the scale and velocity of the initiating event, the ocean's depth at the event location, the proximity to the shoreline, and the topography of the ocean floor along the trajectory. Each of these elements holds the potential to significantly shape the size and intensity of the tsunami waves. According to experts, the repercussions can be severe if the waves of a tsunami reach a minimum height of one and a half meters. The impact can be devastating, leading to widespread flooding and disruption of power infrastructure. Roads may be washed out, buildings could sustain damage or collapse, and entire communities may face displacement. The potential for such devastation is not speculative. Historical records show us instances of tsunamis inflicting catastrophic damage. In 2004, a tsunami in the Indian Ocean, triggered by a colossal 9.1 magnitude earthquake, generated waves reaching heights of up to 30 meters in certain areas. This catastrophic event resulted in the tragic loss of over 200,000 lives across 14 countries. While the thought of such a calamity is undeniably frightening, understanding and predicting tsunamis are continually improving nowadays. Scientists and researchers are exerting relentless efforts to enhance their models and forecasts, aiming to provide as much advance notice as possible in the face of an impending tsunami. The sea may harbor numerous uncertainties, but through ongoing research, increased understanding, and proactive preparedness measures, there exists hope for mitigating the potentially devastating impacts of these natural disasters. To gain insight into the future, we must turn our gaze to the past. Let's embark on a journey back approximately 66 million years ago to the day when an asteroid collided with our planet. This catastrophic incident left in its wake what we recognize today as the Chicxulub Crater. The colossal impact, akin to the force of billions of nuclear bombs, triggered a tsunami wave that soared to almost 100 meters in height, a force so formidable that it reconfigured landscapes and fundamentally altered life on Earth. Although the Chicxulub event belongs to ancient history, it offers contemporary scientists some priceless insights into the dynamics and potential consequences of tsunamis. Tsunamis, however, aren't solely born from asteroid impacts. They frequently originate from undersea earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and even landslides. The energy unleashed by these geological occurrences displaces substantial volumes of water, giving rise to a sequence of formidable waves capable of traversing entire oceans. By analyzing the geological and historical traces left by these formidable waves, scientists can construct a narrative of their formation, trajectory, and how we can anticipate and ready ourselves for them. Nevertheless, Despite our best efforts, tsunamis persist as among the most destructive natural calamities. Even with sophisticated technology and a heightened scientific grasp, the exact timing, scale, and repercussions of a tsunami cannot be accurately predicted. Besides tsunamis, 
The ocean harbors a realm of mysteries, some of which we are only starting to unravel. Amidst these are phenomena that while less comprehended, present threats to both vessels and coastal regions. Solitary killer waves, commonly referred to as rogue waves, emerge as the renegades of the sea. These waves can surge to towering heights exceeding 30 meters. Unlike conventional waves, these solitary waves ascend abruptly and unpredictably, frequently manifesting in the open ocean, where they can catch sailors off guard. Following that, we encounter square waves. This peculiar phenomenon is born from intersecting wave systems at right angles, forming a mosaic of squares on the ocean surface, both captivating and perilous. These squares have the potential to even engulf ships. This phenomenon serves as a powerful reminder of the unpredictable essence of the ocean. Lastly, let's look at drone waves. These waves are exceptionally rare, and consequently, their study is limited. Nevertheless, they have been observed with heights reaching up to 27 meters, nearly as tall as a nine-story building. Their infrequency and colossal extents render them a captivating focus for researchers, yet their potential for devastation serves as a stark reminder of the formidable power of the sea. By delving into these less understood phenomena, we develop a profound understanding of the ocean's strength and capricious nature. This understanding is not only vital for the safety of those navigating the sea, but also for those residing in coastal regions. Let's embark on a journey back in time, around 4,000 years ago, to the arid stretches of the South American Atacama Desert, concealing a secret. In this location, archaeologists have uncovered traces of a mega-earthquake that unleashed a colossal tsunami. This record is verified by the sediment layers left in its wake. Moving on to the Chilean territory, a region acquainted with the devastating repercussions of tsunamis, it is located above a tectonic time bomb where the Nazca Oceanic Plate collides with the South American Continental Plate. This subaquatic clash of the plates sets the stage for recurrent tsunamis. Indeed, Chile boasts a lengthy history of seismic activity, where earthquakes and ensuing tsunamis have become intrinsic to the lives of many generations. The proof is etched into the landscape and imprinted in the collective memory of its people. In the chronicles of geological disasters, one event stands out for its sheer magnitude and devastating impact, the 1960 Chilean earthquake and the subsequent tsunami. This natural calamity still holds the notorious record as the most powerful earthquake ever recorded by humans. Striking on May 22, 1960, off the coast of south-central Chile, with an astonishing magnitude of 9.5, it rattled the very core of the Earth. The seismic waves generated by this colossal quake were so formidable that their effects were felt as far away as Japan and the Philippines. In the aftermath of the earthquake, a succession of colossal waves emerged from the depths of the Pacific Ocean. The waves advanced toward the coastline, annihilating everything in their trajectory. Coastal towns with centuries of history were reduced to rubble in mere moments. The impact of the tsunami wasn't confined to the Chilean coastline, it traversed the Pacific, inflicting substantial destruction and claiming lives in Hawaii, Japan, the Philippines, and various other coastal regions. The death toll from the 1960 Chilean earthquake and tsunami was catastrophic, reaching into the thousands, and the economic damage was equally devastating. This tragic event stands as a stark reminder of the formidable power wielded by nature. The 1960 event also illuminates the resilience of humanity and our ability to rebuild and recover in the face of overwhelming adversity. The event serves as a historical lesson that we must never forget, particularly as we brace ourselves for the future and the potential threats that may lie ahead. Navigating the domain of natural disasters, especially tsunamis, underscores the critical importance of readiness. Although we cannot pinpoint precisely when these catastrophic events will transpire, we have the ability to arm ourselves with the necessary knowledge and tools to alleviate their impact. Central to this strategy is awareness. Through studying the threats, we can proactively take steps to protect our communities. 
This involves not only knowing what a tsunami is, but understanding the signs that precede it, identifying the areas likely to be affected, and being familiar with the steps to take when one is imminent. Preparedness measures are multifaceted and encompass a spectrum of activities. These range from building tsunami-resistant infrastructure to formulating and rehearsing evacuation plans. In this digital age, early warning systems have emerged as an integral component of disaster preparedness. Leveraging the power of technology, these systems can provide us with valuable minutes to reach safety before a tsunami makes landfall. Education also plays a pivotal role. Schools, communities, and families need to be informed about tsunamis, what they are, how they form, and most importantly, what actions to take when one is imminent. This knowledge, coupled with preparedness measures, can significantly diminish the risk of injury and loss of life. Indeed, let's not overlook the importance of resilience. The aftermath of a tsunami can be as formidable as the event itself. Mental resilience, community support, and resources for rebuilding are all crucial components of recovery. Essentially, our most effective defense against tsunamis, or any natural disaster for that matter, lies in a combination of awareness, preparedness, and resilience. It involves fostering a culture that acknowledges the power of nature and is prepared to respond when it unleashes its fury. While we cannot prevent natural disasters, we can ready ourselves for them, and in doing so, save lives. When do you think the next big tsunami will happen? Leave a reply in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.